Hi, welcome to Tim's desk. As you might notice, I'm not at my desk. I've actually been moving it from downstairs up into the spare room. Uh, so it's taken quite a bit of work, hence I haven't been putting any videos up, haven't been doing any reviews, uh, plus I haven't really got anything new coming, uh, well, has been coming in kit-wise. Uh, that will change, there's a new kit coming to me fairly soon, so that's most definitely gonna get a review and hopefully get quite a lot of interest uh, video wise. Uh, so what I have been doing for my desk and my um, bench in the new area is building a storage space. Now it's taken quite a bit of work, let me get the camera. This is what I've been building, as you can see I've got yeah, right wing, Hobby's own paint racks, they go in side there and you'll actually be looking at it from this way. So I've got storage spaces down here. This will be where the spray booth is. Mac on this side, a bit more storage over there. This will be all the paint area up here on these hobby zone racks. Uh, so this has taken me quite a while. Um, it's nearly finished. We're probably hope about a week before it's actually in the room and the bench will be up and in a workable state. Um, so I shall see you then. This is the quickest bench update you'll ever see. Um, see you soon guys. Okay, I thought I'd better put a bit more um, into this video. I can't leave it that short. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of how the cave is going so far. Um, it's not finished. It's a uh, a mess at the moment it's still a bit everywhere uh, but the basics are here um, so behind me is a door that's how you get in a room it's amazing that uh, I've got my display cabinet in uh, it's half populated with some built items and not finished items uh, the wall behind me I've got my dawn patrol picture uh, and here I've got my Spitfires flying over London as it's Tim Death London, I thought it'd be a very appropriate picture to have hanging. Uh, over in the corner here, all of my books and reference material, uh, airbrushes, stereo, stuff down the bottom there. Um, it's a window, look at that. Yeah. Uh, over here, so I've got my bench, that's new. That's a new bench vent uh, from aircraft, air-craft.net, Martin over there. Um, great man to deal with uh, so got that in here as it's upstairs and around the family I wanted to be able to know that when I sprayed anything it's a bit more toxic than just your normal acrylics I had the way of uh, removing all the fumes so I put a rubber seal on the door that thing on we're sorted well, I'm, I'm fine with that there. So we've got my bench there. As you can see, it's a total and utter mess. I've uh, got two lights, one for spraying, one for working. Bench area here, much more improved, much larger area, more room for mess. Yes. Um, and then this large area here, you can see, is where what you saw in the other video will be. So that will fill up that wall there. Uh, we've got under lighting for the stash up the top there and then the same behind me again we've got some more shelving up there with more stash um so it's coming along um i'm very happy with how it's turned out so far uh it's taken a lot of work i've never done wallpapering before and i had to re-wallpaper the whole room that was interesting um painted it all got it all ready i'm in here gonna be this will be my permanent room for a while uh, until someone needs to reclaim the room which will probably happen at some point but hey ho there we go living in the small house is what this is what happens um so moving on with what's coming up the salmerson is in there and we'll be getting work back back on the bench soon to get that finished the mercedes sorry the audi will be getting worked on again and finished off there i this next year coming up, uh, one thing I do want to do is start trying to get some of the builds that have stalled this year finished. Um, a couple of them are in the 
we've got the World War One tank there, as it's the last year, the hundred year of the World War One. I think that's rather appropriate to get finished. I was enjoying that. I just got st stalled on it, and the same again with the one thirty two Stuka there. Re really enjoyed doing that, and then it got stalled. Uh, the wings are. Uh, mm, they're uh, I need some re-scribing and a bit of re riveting on the ends of them. Other than that, it's ready to go together and start getting painted. Uh, there's quite a few of us that started building them. We all got a bit stalled. Uh, I know Ivan from Northern Modeler says he wants to get his finished, and I'm, even I'm saying, no, I want to get that one finished. Um, because there is a big build coming up for me, um, probably starting at the start of the year, as long as I can get some things finished and out of the way. Um, I'm not saying any more until I put the review up of that kit um, and uh, there's a lot of people who are going to be very jealous of that one because it's just going to be immense and <laughs> get you not so excited and stuff. Um, got to control myself. But it's so cool. Um, regarding builds coming up next year, I haven't got anything hugely planned other than that one. But we are hopefully going to be doing a some sort of uh, biplane World War One build, uh, as it is the last year of Centenary of the Hundred Years of World War One. So there's quite a few guys I know who've got loads of World War One uh, planes. So I think we're going to plan on doing a bit of a build next year for that one. Um, I'll, you'll hear more either via me or on ISM. That's, that's pretty much the main place I uh, post up on for there. So. This is a little bit of an extended one. Once this is all finished, I will do a proper look. This is what is done. This is how I've set it all up. This is how I did it. This is how I built it. This is what I purchased to do it. So you can all sort of, if you want to do something like this yourself, you can. Um, and I will um, speak to you all, um, hopefully, in under a, under a couple of two weeks, and I'll be up and ready. So see you then. Bye-bye.